Okay, so now we're going to be doing, we'll do these some top leaves and we'll get this in here and uh, get a bit of background in. But once again, um, I don't want to make it too long, but you'll get the idea of it. All right. So where we're looking at is um, we're on six, six, so we're just going to, we just do it by the square sort of thing, by the grid. And that's going to come out here like this. So we're about, yeah, so we're about halfway. It's going to come there like that. And it would appear, <coughs> excuse me, it would appear to come out like this. And then, yep. And then over here, it looks like there's just a little leaf on top. And once again, you know, we, we can't we, can, we can't always see exactly what's going on. Um, but that's just that's, that's just how it is, you know. It's not a biggie. We can sort of improvise. And after a while, you, you sort of get the feel, eh? You know, you... You know, I mean, a leaf's a leaf. See, so as long as you get the basics right. Now, over here, we've got that leaf. Um, it sort of tends to... Yeah, we're sort of around the halfway. We're going to just bring that around to there. Um, and I, I think this coming down here, sort of got a bit going on in here. Yeah. And, that, and they're all sort of, you know, that's behind that, that's in front of that, that's in front, and this is in front. So we'll just, would appear come down to just below halfway so we come down to about here and then we've got this one here which comes from the, the grid line it's going to come in front of that um, and this side of the leaf is actually right up over here it looks to be the same no it's not actually oh I see what's happening that's good no that's all right though I know what's happening is that this this bit I'm doing now is actually in the background now this leaf here is going to come around and it just follows along we're actually quite a bit out of the grid but that's right Oh, I see, yes. Yeah. Gone a little bit off track there. That's right. I'll take this line out here. Yeah, no, we've gone a little bit off, but that's alright. Uh, it actually, I think we need to come over a bit more. And this one here. And I want to just take this bit here. you got to imagine they're all different shapes they're not all just sitting there straight looking at us in actual fact if I look at the black and white one it's a bit clearer 
really. So that actually might just bring that around a bit more. This one here is going to come out. Yeah. And that one there. And it sort of seems to. Oh, I see, that's behind that. Yeah. Oh, no wonder. Yep, yeah, that's it. And this relief here is sort of going around. Yep, got it. Just the underdrawing on this side. Okay. That's what I mean. Sometimes, you know, when you you look at your colour, um, and then you get the black and white, you know, sort of because it's just the two tones, I guess, it's it's it does make it a bit easier to see. Alright now. So now on this side, about here, I've got a leaf coming out here, and then that's going to come down to about here. Um, and then we've got some another leaf on here, which is sort of in the shade a bit. I'm going to just put it in, but I don't want it to have too much shade. You know, I don't, we want to see quite a bit of the, the foliage. And then there's another one coming up here. And that's coming over. Just go over here now and we'll just do a bit of um, putting in a bit of detail. And it's pretty much the same all the way through, you know. Um, and it's just looking at the looking at them and you can see that that's in front of that and and that and that's how you do it. And this so these two squares up here that we're well we're sort of doing turn a bit squares here at the moment. Um, it's all the same, the whole process. So there's no point showing all that on the, on, on the video because um, it's just repetitive. So I'm, I, I will do these ones, no problem. Okay. And this leaf here is just a little bit different. Notice it's not so much like that there, it's the same vine, but maybe that leaf's turned over or something, you know, and that's, so we're seeing more green than white like over here. Alright, so we're going to just come down here like this. I don't have to get it exact. By that I mean we don't have to you know pretty every little detail because we're going to shade it now and it's quite dark up in here and I'm just I sort of want to keep that variegated look because I quite like it yeah. usually it's a bit darker on the right you know right on the edge there where we are there it's darker here so I'm just going with how the leaf is how the leaf is, is forming or formed you know which is which is, is it going down folding down Bit darker on the edges. 
So we can use a little bit of negative, um, in other words, I'll show you what I mean. Like we can just take a bit out rather than putting it in that sort of called negative. That's where you want your tombro, tombo, <laughs> tombro, hey bro, tombo, just the point and just taking it a little bit out, just defining it, you know, like that. And I'm going to use my 2B. Just give that a bit more, because it is darker up the top. Can you see that? Yeah. Because it's in shade, or shadow. In here, we've got a bit of, this, this here would be a good bit for, um, just um, making it a bit more negative. You can just play around with it. It is quite dark in there because this leaf here is in front of everything. But I just want to, this is where, for example, um, you know, I keep talking about how much you want to put into your drawing, you know, like, um, you can put as much, you know, as much detail or, or as little detail as you want, and so that's entirely up to yourself. This is at the point where, how we sort of got it now uh, you know is, is fine you can do a few little touch-ups but what I what I'd probably do in fact what I'd normally do is I just do so much and then um, then I'll move on and then I'll come back and put in um, the finer detail If I feel that you know, if I feel it needs it, or or I see something that oh yes, that'll make that might make it look a bit good, a bit better, it's good, <laughs> a bit better, you know, and that's exactly where where, where wherever it is that you want to be at. You know, you might say, well, I'm happy with that. Well, that's great. And as you get more experienced at it, you'll find, you'll see things that you didn't see before. And you go, oh yes. And that's why, like I've said, some of my drawings have taken, you know, over 
Um, I've got one four, four or five years, and that's not constant sitting there drawing for four or five years. That's doing it and thinking, oh, that's quite neat. And then as I got more experience and and more confident, I'd pull it out and do a bit more. I'm just going to make that a bit darker because that is in quite heavy shade there. Yeah, so. It, you know, as I say, it's entirely up to you. And it, it's just how it works out. It's just as you get better at it and more experienced and more confident in your in your ability, you're, you're always going to find a bit more that you can do to enhance it. And that's the beauty of it. That's where you get the, you know, the, the sense of satisfaction knowing that you're getting better and, and it really does become really enjoyable. Never compare yourself to others because just you can you can um, very easily get disillusioned or if you can't get how you think you know you, how you think that someone else has done a drawing you want to try and do it like theirs well no it's your your own unique piece. I mean I look at some works. Some, yeah, you know, some some um, portrait artists and things, and I just look at it. It just blows my mind away, and I don't sort of think about, oh, I wish I could do it like that, because I know at the end of the day, if I really wanted to do it like that, um, well, as close as I could to that, you can if you want to spend that time to do it, you know. But I'm never ever going to put myself down thinking, oh, no, I'll never be that good. Because to me it just doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that at all. It's all about making, getting excited for yourself and enjoying what you do. And sure, you can look at other people's art and take pleasure in it going, wow. It's like it's a bit like music, isn't it? I mean, I, I was never really a fan of, um, and no disrespect, but I was never really a fan of Michael Jackson. And yet, I, I acknowledge the fact that he was, he was a master, you know, a master musician. He was the top of his field. But I'd never want to, um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't go out and, and buy his music, I'd, you know, or even go out and way to really listen. But I know, you know, as I say, he is a master. And I find arts the same. I look at some art and I just think to myself, um, you know, it's beautiful. It's not my kind of art, but it's still beautiful. I think we can all sort of work out for ourselves what's good and and what's not. It comes down to, you know, what do we actually enjoy? Amazing how things have changed like, over the years. 
technology and I mean you know I can remember back when we had you know even before cassette tapes well before that year we had your old 45s and records and now when you look at you don't even you don't need anything you just download Spotify you don't even have to pay for the free one it's just it's just mind-boggling the technology and amazing just um, embracing it or embracing the parts that you want what interests you you know I mean I would never have thought I'd be sitting here <laughs> making videos <laughs> goodness yeah I'm just going to come in here now and just Blend this in a little bit. So now you get you get the idea of it, what we're trying to achieve. Okay? Now I'm not I'm gonna speed things up a bit because otherwise it's just gonna take forever. And you, you can see what I've done. Alright. So we'll um Yeah, we'll just speed that we'll just go into a time lapse mode. Alright.